Hi guys and welcome to my channel, it's me Zara. So, I was meant to film this video like ages ago, I'm sure it was like March. So apologies for the like two month long waits. I asked some people to send me in some questions. Some of my lovely, lovely friends sent me some questions. Um, and I'm going to answer them for you in this video. Um, whilst doing this get ready with me of how I achieved uh, this mess. This hair was meant to be a lot wavier than it was, but I got really impatient and I took my plots out. So I really hope you enjoy this little get ready with me slash Q&A. And... I'm hoping to start posting regularly and yeah just let me know what you want to see and let's get into the video. So as you'll see by the title of this video it is a get ready with me and a Q&A. That is because like the, one of the first questions that I got asked was my makeup routine and I'm only going to be doing like my soft kind of makeup routine that I do like every day like just on a, an average day. Let's get started with the questions but first um, I've already mo uh, moisturised my face, like toned it and whatever as well. To prime the skin properly, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And this is just going to go literally all my over my face. I absolutely love this stuff. Because I want a nice bit of hydration, um, I'm using this on my skin today. I'm just going to get that into my skin. Very nicely not in my hair jesus um yeah my hair also is like this because it's still a bit damp uh and i didn't really want to use any heat on it today but i was feeling like some waves i've been straightening it loads and it needs a little break if i take these plaits out and my hair's still a bit damp i just whiz the hair dryer over it before i take them out oh my god i haven't even answered any questions who is your dream artist collab in case you didn't know, I'm studying music, music performance and industry in LMA because I absolutely love to sing. But my my dream artist collab, oh, at the moment would probably be Doja Cat. Like she is just the bomb. She's an incredible lyricist as well. I've been dying to see her live. For the longest time, I really aspire to make music like hers as well. That's just another artist I would love to collab with is her. I don't stop talking about her, honestly. So, um, I don't really use foundation on a day-to-day -day basis. Concealer and I'm good to go. I'm going to be using a mixture of two concealers because I'm that extra girl. We're going to go in with L'Oreal Perfect Match Concealer. And Maybelline Fit Me in the shade in the Fit Me Concealer shade 30 and L'Oreal Perfect Match 7D. Yeah. What content are you wanting to post on your channel? So um I'm just gonna take the Fit Me concealer and go under my eyes with that. Um so in terms of content, I really want to do like lifestyle videos like this, like makeup get ready with me and stuff bit of fashion content because I'm trying to up my style um and be a bit more put together you know self-care and things your typical stuff but I also want to put keep some music content out on here um yeah so this is just going on the portion under my eyes um and then we're going to go in with the perfect match on any blemishes on the rest of my face which is a lot of my face I substitute this for foundation literally i probably shouldn't but yeah um and i also i'm trying to do more traveling like as much as i can i've got a couple of trips planned for the summer already um in terms of traveling and i will probably be doing a lot of travel vlogs because that is what i really enjoy watching because i am like an absolute freak for travel i just love going to different places I love experiencing different cultures. I want to travel whilst I'm still young and like get that going. 
I'm just going to go in with my damp beauty blender and blend this all out. Okay, next question. How did your Paris trip come about? Was it your idea, etc.? So, Paris was an anniversary trip for me and my lovely boyfriend, Milan. Um, and basically, I'd like arranged something for his birthday this year, but very, very early. Um, and I basically just said to him, you know, you go ahead and plan something for our anniversary then, since I always plan everything um, without telling you. And you're just like, okay, yeah, let's do it. I was like, you plan something that you actually want to do with me. And then um, one day he was just like, yeah, I've been thinking about it. Let's go to Paris. And I was like, what? Being a student going to Paris, you know, <laughs> I've definitely been very, very lucky. We had the most amazing time. It was expensive, but it was absolutely worth every single penny because I've always thought, do you know what? Um, money you can get back and you can earn back. Whereas experiences, once you miss out on that, it's gone. Um, you've got to make the most of your time uh, wisely. And I say, have fun, enjoy it. Because if you don't, and if you keep stressing yourself out, you're going to kick yourself for it later. But yeah, we just had the best time and I loved it. And I loved being able to wear all my cute little outfits and everything. It was just, it was such a wholesome trip. And I don't think, I don't think we've ever had that much fun. And Milan was just like, why don't we just live here? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, it is just amazing. Okay, I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder now and set under my eyes, my nose, everywhere that I get oily, basically. And then uh, after that, I'm going to go in with a brush and just dust over my face. Next question is, where do you see yourself in the future with your singing? Um, hopefully doing a collab with Doja Cat um that is like my absolute dream but at the moment i'm just working on it trying to perfect it before i put anything out i'm perfecting myself so i'm trying to start gigging and stuff i've sent some emails out and things and i'm just dusting off the excess with this little powder brush um because i'm really into r&b slash pop music and that's the type of stuff that i want to put out but with a twist. I'm not going to say what that twist is. But yeah. You will be seeing when it eventually comes out. Okay. Next question. How are you finding your first year of uni? And what do you want to do after uni? Should I do Brandon next? No, I'm going to do my eyes first actually. Okay, next I'm going in with the Rimmel wonderful brow it's like a tinted brow gel and it's in the shade dark my first year of uni has been so good i mean i've had my little ups and downs um i will say for me personally having a boyfriend when you're in a new relationship it is quite hard it was quite hard for me at first like being away from home when i'd spent you know, a full year at home because I took a gap year and I was working with my dad for a, for a whole year um, during the pandemic and then coming out of that and I, it's just like, yeah, you're not going to be at home as much anymore, even though I do come home most weekends and see everyone. Um, it, it was just that, you know, first bit of homesickness at first, but I absolutely love my course. Um... And I love all my friends there. I've got the best group of friends ever. And everyone is so supportive. I just love them all. I'm having a great time. And as I said, after uni, I want to continue with my music. Okay, next, I'm going to go in. This is like my substitute for eyeliner because I find eyeliner can be a bit too heavy in the daytime. This is my very battered naked two palette like it's been very loved i'm going in with like this just like 
flat angle brush i'm going in with the shade undone which is a very dark brown and i'm just gonna like do a little wing on the outer edge of my eye next trip next question <laughs> Highlight of my Paris trip, definitely the day of our anniversary. We had such a good day and got a bit tipsy together. It was just so much fun, like nothing went wrong. I don't think anything really went wrong the whole of the Paris trip. It was just an amazing trip. Um, what's your biggest aspiration in life? Uh, just to be happy to have like lived out my dreams and make music that people love um more importantly that i love and to be able to let other people enjoy it too i'm just gonna kind of smoke it out with my finger because i don't want it to be like a harsh wing just like that if you see what i mean it's a bit like smoked out it just kind of fades out and we're gonna go into kind of the middle, just about there. And we're gonna repeat that on the other eye. Next question. Do you have any tattoos and what do they mean? Okay, it's about to get sloppy now. Um, so I've got this one on my shoulder here. Um, and that is the beautiful name of my sister, who I sadly never got to meet as she passed away um so it's quite sentimental to me and then i've got a little best fly right here not me not showing you the tattoo whatsoever i'm sorry with granddad underneath um because i was really close to my granddad um, before he passed away I lived with him since I was born you know I didn't know life without my granddad in it and he was truly my best friend in the whole wide world when I got my first tattoo I decided straight away that I wanted something mean meaningful to me oh yeah and these are in Urdu I'm just gonna smoke this wing out again and add a bit more to that um and also my mum wouldn't scream at me then if they meant something <laughs> so yeah right i think those i'm happy with those little wings those little smoky wings um next question is what is your favorite genre of song to sing r&b all day every day absolutely without a doubt okay next we're gonna go in with my which one is it my clinique mascara which is high impact mascara in the shade black and i'm just gonna coat my lashes in this very nicely ow ow i just hit my funny bone um and the next question is what is your favorite destination Oh, I know what, I know the answer to this question. Um, so, since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to go to Bali. And to this day, it is still a dream of mine. It looks so beautiful. And I'd really, really like to experience the cold trout there. So that's like a bucket list destination of mine. Okay, I've got a bit of mascara under there, but it's not a vibe. Next question. Favourite makeup product is definitely this beauty right here. Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. Um, I've got mine in the shade Fenty Glow. I used to have... Um, oh yeah, we're going to bronze, by the way, with NYX Matte Bronzer. I don't know how long I've had this brush for. I don't know where it's from either. I used to own the shade diamond milk and having a dark skin tone um if i used that on its own i genuinely i genuinely looked ill because it is literally white um 
and see through and it was just way way too light so I always had to mix it with a dark lip color but they <laughs> they taste so good like they smell amazing I, li I just love Fenty Beauty. Rihanna is, uh, do you know what? Rihanna is probably a dream collab of mine as well. I absolutely love Rihanna. Just going on my jawline, cheekbones, warming my skin up. Gonna go on the temples of my forehead now as well. Oh, that's very dark. I need a lot blended, yeah. Next question, one thing I can't live without uh pasta i absolutely love pasta like italian food <laughs> my absolute fave the last question is what is your biggest ick oh um it's it's big ego it's arrogance i can't stand it it's like when people try and uh, they kind of like put you down in front of other people to big themselves up. That is one thing that I hate. Oh yeah, I'm just using this brush to blend out my nose contour because it looks kind of crazy right now. Some people are just like have massive egos and you can tell and it's like, come on. If I was saying, do you know what, another ick. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot to tell you. I'm just putting sleek this sleek blush on. How did I even know it was from sleek by the top of this? Not good. Not good, but it's like a rose gold kind of colour. It's really pretty. Um, I'm going to put this like on the top of my nose as well. It's a little shimmery blush, but you know. Um, yeah, another rick of mine. Boys in high school. And <laughs> I regret all of them but my biggest it is probably it's yeah it's probably just like cockiness and arrogance but i'm going back to that topic again but yeah oh yeah i i'm a really bad youtuber already i'm using this beauty bay <laughs> living my best light brilliance palette it's a highlight palette and it's this as you can tell this shade is very well used because uh these two shades are the only shades i can really wear because if i wore either of these two i'd look very very silly um but yeah i'm just putting this on the high points of my cheekbones i'm just having the best time ever at uni um i would say that i'm glad that i took my gap year though because i had i had such a great summer that year as well but yeah uni's just like that one-up experience i wouldn't say i went out that much at the beginning of uni but we've been going out a bit more now and we've got loads of stuff well we've got a trip planned already in summer me and my uni friends and the boy of course okay i'm gonna do my lips now um we're using the collection redefine a lip liner i think it's like rubbed off again as you can tell i love these products too a bit too much and it's in the shade nude pink it's quite a dark shade but this is kind of my nude if you get me because um kind of dark so i like to overline my lips to get a nice juicy pout and i'm just gonna go around Okay, there we go. My hands are quite shaky, so I'm quite surprised that I didn't mess that up. I'm just going to fill it in as well. Okay. Okay. I'm going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Leon. I've got essays due in and stuff and it's just been like trying to get those done. But also when you go into uni and you're waking up early, 
giving yourself just about 40 minutes to get ready in the mornings. Um, I'm letting myself go a bit. So... My Fenty Gloss Bomb is going on to complete this look. Um, yeah, I've just kind of... I kind of fell off. And I'm trying to sort myself out a bit, so... I feel more myself. Um, and I'm just going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. Like so. And I will be back in a second. Once I've taken my hair out. I'm just going to rent my hair dryer over my hair as well, I think, because it's still damp. right guys that is the end of my first video um apologies if you found it a little bit too long also guys apologies if you found that some little bits didn't make sense it's because i had to cut a lot out because this footage was very long so i did my best first editing job i'm gonna try and improve on that um but yeah, please let me know what content you'd like to see in the near and far future. Um, and please subscribe down below if you did enjoy and give this a thumbs up. It would mean a hell of a lot to me. I'll leave my Instagram down below. Hopefully in the next few you'll get to know me a lot more. I know there's like quite a few like big details that I probably missed out. Um, but we'll leave it till next time leave a bit of mystery how's that yeah but yeah um i really hope you enjoyed please 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 subscribe if you want to see more and i will hopefully see you next week bye